This is Fab Pal Darrell, and today we will be doing a repotting video of my Fab Sogo Yenlin coffee and my Fab Shellerinia Wilson. Stay tuned, Fab Pals. So, Fab Pals, the um, phalaenopsis that I chose to do a repotting of first is my Sogo Yenlin. And the reason I'm repotting her first is because I'm repotting her to bark out of the two orchids i believe she had the worst roots and was the most dire need to be repotted now the first thing i'm going to do is try to remove the phalaenopsis species out of this pot by squeezing the pot and putting pressure at the bottom okay fail pals so, nice looking roots, nice looking roots. Just needs to get out of this very compacted moss. Now, Fal Pals, I would strongly suggest that you use gloves through this process, honey. If you don't believe me, honey, stay tuned, honey. I'm trying to tell you, don't do what you see me do. Because, honey, I'm hard-headed. Mm -hmm. As always, this is... Just a repotting video for my fail pals that loves a, a repotting video, darling. Yes, God. I'm getting you out of here, baby. I'm getting you out of here. You do not have to live in this pot anymore. I'm going to put you in some bark. I'm going to love you like no one has loved you before, darling. Yes, baby. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. You see that, fair pals? One bad apple spoils the bunch. If I had let that stay, that dead root would cause these to die. Okay? All done, foul pals. So the next thing I'm going to do is let the roots sit into, into some rainwater while I prepare the pot. Stay tuned, see, foul pals. I have some bark that I have sterilized, ran boiling hot water through it several times. So it is going to maintain good moisture in my inside of my pot. But just in case, I am going to add just a tad bit of this New Zealand sphagnum moss. And as I said, I'm going to use this clay pot because clay pots are very good with um, absorbing salts and pushing the salts that's inside of the pot on the outside. So I don't have to worry about over fertilizing my um, beautiful phalaenopsis as I would with anything else. So just to start off, I'm going to put a little bark on the bottom, if you will. start um, dealing with the roots thing. Okay, Fal Pals, so I was able to get some of the old matter off of the phalaenopsis. However, you will never be able to get all of it, okay? So the only roots that I'm going to cut off are the ones that are black, bushy, and gushy. And I have me some shears that I'm going to use and trust and believe I sterilized it for my um, beautiful um, phalaenopsis, that's a species. Oh, well, okay. Well, since it just fell off like that, that's a piece of moss. 
fishy and fishy. And this one right here. Oh man, it's not mushy and fishy, it's just brown. Okay. So, we got some up here that's broken off, but I'm gonna just leave it alone. Okay. So. Stay tuned. The main purpose of the uh, media is to stabilize your Phalaenopsis orchid in the pot. So you want it light and airy. I'm going to layer it with moss. So the only moss you will see is the moss that you saw that I put on the inside of the pot. We are good to go, fail pals, with my beautiful Phalaenopsis Sogo Yenlin. And there you have it, fail pals. We are all done with this one. Stay tuned for the next one. Okay, fail pals. So my phalaenopsis, Schillerinia Wilson. We are going to do the same thing, squeezing the sides of the pot and then adding pressure at the bottom. Now I am going to convert her um, over to predominantly moss because um, to me, it appears as if she was, her roots were the most accustomed to it. Um, so I'm going to have just a small portion of bark, okay? Okay, fail pal, so the next thing I'm going to do is let her sit in that um, pure water for just a moment, okay, just to relax her roots. I am not going to put her under the faucet, okay? Stay tuned. So fail pals, again, I have sterilized my scissors and we are hopefully not going to have too many roots to cut off. Okay, I don't see any. Um, I don't see any cookie and cookie. Okay, so fail pals, anytime that I predominantly use moss, I want to use a very ventilated pot. You know what? This pot over here is what I actually wanted to use, but from my experience, even with all of these holes, it's not ventilated to um, get this moss dry up soon enough. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just add a little bark at the bottom to help with drainage, okay?
Here we go, fail pals. I'm gonna put just a teensy weensy garden line on top and we are out of here. Get my name tag. <clears throat> Hopefully, this will work out for her. I've done the best that I can. All right, Bow Pals. Until next time.